is your boy the righteous messenger and i want to welcome to the righteous messenger youtube channel i'm on for can you see what i'm saying people you they see what they see because i come across this news and this man what's his name Matthew Upoku Prempe is a minister of energy and he's also an MP for Menshia South constituency in the Ashanti region of Ghana and this man is saying that I will lead my Kumasi people on a demo should government allocate funds for Ketasi defense hmm I'm for does it sound right I will lead Kumasi people to demonstrate if Ketasi defense project is captured in 2022 budget. See, if you are Ghanaian or you should be Ghana, you're from Ghana, you know, see recently the sea destroyed the livelihood of a lot of people living in the Volta region in Keta because nothing to protect them from the tidal waves imagine you can't even sleep in your room because the sea is in your room this is what we are talking about the sea comes in your house and destroys everything this is what we are talking about it happened recently Three weeks, two weeks, roughly a month ago, this thing happened a month ago. And part of the reason why the Ghanaian budget that was read for 2022 has been rejected by the minority is saying that, look, the Keta C defense, the Keta C defense was not mentioned in the budget or solutions for providing a sea defense in Keta wasn't mentioned and this MP is an MP of the ruling party MPP New Patriotic Party Nana Ado and his people dirty Nana Ado are calling because of sewer brony issues this man is coming out to say that I will lead Kumasi people to demonstrate if Keta Sea Defense Project is captured in 2022 budget. I'm on for it pain me. It pains me so much that the people of the Volta region don't have a voice in this MPP government. That the people of the Volta region still up to today are not protected. This is the Keta Sea Defense problem. This has to be sorted or dealt with. You see, and this man, he was interviewed or he goes on one radio station and he is saying this. When he is saying this, that I will lead Kumasi people on the most should government allow funds for Keta Sea Defense. I don't understand. It is your responsibility or your duty to fight for your constituency. Fight for Mesha South. No one is stopping you from doing that. But you shouldn't come out and say that I will demonstrate or I will lead Kumasi people on the demonstration should funds be allocated for Keta Sea Defense Project. It's wrong. It makes you sound like someone who is tribalistic. People are calling you a trouble bigot. Someone who is unreasonably fighting against protection of people in the Volta region from natural forces. Uh, Matthew Opoku Prempe. This is what you sound like. I know MPP foot soldiers will come. They are already defending what you are saying. On social media on twitter on facebook i'm seeing it but it's not right why should i be sleeping in my room one day and then the next day because the sea rises so high 
it enters my room and I can't even sleep in my room. I don't even have, I can't even see the ground to step. I'm on four. It looks like under this Nana Ado and MPP government, the people of Vota region have been neglected and forgotten. And I won't even say the NDC, which stronghold is in the Volta region, has done anything for this Keta C defense or to protect the people of Keta. I don't think the NDC has done enough. Keta or the Volta region is stronghold of the NDC. That's why we, the freedom fighters, are saying that. MPP and NDC are playing games. They play my games with the people. You see, already from some time ago, I wanted to come out and fire this Matthew Opoku Prempe because of Doomso Doomso. He came out and said, Oh, it's not Doomso Doomso, it's Doomsie Doomsie. They killing the lights to repair the power stations. But I just said, look, let me keep quiet because according to my research or what I've been looking at, Doomso Doomso is not as bad as MPP as it was under NDC. See, uh, as Santihini will say, Kanye uh, Afui, Ofui, Fui, Fui, Kanye Afui, or something like that. You see, why should the people of Ghana have to go through this? I keep hearing Ghana has enough resources. When I was in Ghana, petrol wasn't discovered, but now petrol has been discovered in Ghana. Lithium has been discovered in Ghana. Man, for even the gold that Ghana has been mining for how many years now? Ghanaians are still experiencing our cats even though we are sitting on gold when Nana Ado was coming into power he said I will change Ghana in 18 months if you vote for me what happened to that this is what his people are saying now we will demonstrate if funds are, are allocated to save lives in the Volta region and when the people of Volta region want to secede when they want to break away from Ghana and form their own sovereignty or country, Nanado and his MPP government claims it's treason. I feel for people in the Volta region. I feel the pain. Ah, uh, or do people in the Volta region not pay taxes? Taxes. From the Volta region, what is that used on? Can't you use that on the Kata C defense? The people need to be protected from these tidal waves at Keta or in the Volta region. And when the minority cries out loud that look, we rejected. 2022 budget by the government by MPP government because one of the reasons is it did not provide or mention Ketasi defense in there an MPP member a member of parliament a Ghanaian comes out and says if Ketasi defense is captured in 22 budget I will lead my people to demonstrate because there are flats in Kumasi. You have to fight for your constituency. Fight so that better forms of drainages in Kumasi can be constructed to get rid of floods or rainwater. No one is stopping you from doing that. But do not come out and say that if funds are located for sea defense in Keta Awu, you know, leave my people in Kumasi on a demonstration. Who will go on such a stupid demonstration? We want our country to get better. 
this is why we say saying fix the country. Me righteous mission that I'm here, look, I'm aware, I'm Voltarian, I'll say this, but I will not say that funds should not be allocated for the betterment of people in Kumasi. No, the whole country should be made better for everyone to enjoy, not only accounts, not only people in Kumasi, the whole country. For me, I haven't even come out to speak on Ketasi defense because I think people in the north are a priority when it comes to national development. We have neglected people in the north. Go to the north and see. You see witch camps where innocent old women are imprisoned to face hardship for the rest of their life. Or they imprison there to protect them from the wrath of people in the townships. You see the mindset of Ghanaians? You see the country Ghana? Do you see what's going on in the country Ghana? Amount for we face the country campaigners wants Ghana to become a better country. Ghana to rub shoulders with the first and second world countries. Even if you can't rub shoulders with shoulders with the first world countries, are uh, second world countries. Let's do that. But if we have leaders like this, Matthew Opoku Prempe, look at his mindset. Listen to what he's saying. If funds are allocated for scatter sea defense, I will lead Kumasi people demonstration you don't have to look at ketasi defense to lead kumasi people on demonstration because of the lack of good drainage systems you are the mp what have you done to better drainage systems in kumasi please tell me and i'm out for this man is supposed to be a doctor who someone some people are saying that is it's only a dentist but to me a doctor is a doctor. Even if you're a dentist, you fought hard to, you know, get that qualification. But people are saying it's only a dentist because of the mindset. And he even used to be the minister of education. What can this guy, Mati Opoku Prempe, contribute to the betterment of Ghana? Even when Doom so was going on in MPP regime. Therefore, you should you should, you should listen to what he came out to, to say. Mind games, excuses. Oh, they are fixing some power stations, so we have to turn the whole thing off. Imagine. No sense. So can you not think of ways of providing alternative power? Whilst the power stations have been sorted out, he can't do that, but he can come out and say that people of the Volta region don't deserve to be in the budget for 2022. I feel sad, I feel sad because I'm a Voltarian, and people from the Volta region, I should say, are my people. I don't want to say that because I feel for all Ghanaians, especially people in the north. Is there enough schools in the north to cater for uh, 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 kids and students? Look at the northern region in Ghana. I'm hearing people don't even have common water to drink. People in the north have to share water with animals, with livestock. And we call ourselves a country. We call Ghana a country. Yamanfo. Why? Yamanfo, before I will end, just a piece of advice to this Minister of Energy, Matthew Opoku Prempe. Look, words like this makes you sound like a trouble bigot. Someone who is unreasonable or intolerable to, to another group of people because they don't belong to your tribe. Africa is made up of tribes. 
you will sit there and say that oh if funds are located to get a sea defense i will demonstrate but if people from the voter region vote for you you will accept that if people from the voter region vote for nana ado to become a president so that mpp can enjoy power and leadership you accept that but you don't want to cater for the people you don't think about the people you don't want to provide the needs of the people just the basic needs protect people of Keta from the waves of the sea protect people from Keta from the, 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 the rages in the sea is this too much to ask for people of Keta should also go on demonstration demonstrate until barriers have been put in place to protect the people of Keta from the sea my man for it's a boy the righteous messenger thanks for viewing i'll see you in the next video peace